The next property we are going to learn about is flex direction. The flex direction establishes the main axis which in turn decides how the flex items are placed inside the flex container. By default, the main axis flows from left to right, which is the reason we see the items placed from left to right in our example. By changing the value of the flex direction property, we can change how the items are placed. So let's take a look at an example. Let's go back to our CSS file and to the flex container, we are going to add the flex direction property. Now the flex direction can accept one of four values. The first value is row, which is the default value. So if I add this property of flex direction and set it to row, it wouldn't make a difference. If I refresh, you can see that there is no difference. So the flex direction of row sets the main axis from left to right. The next value allowed is row reverse. And you guessed that it sets the main axis direction from right to left, which results in the flex items being placed from the right to the left. So the value is row reverse. And if I refresh the browser, you can see that the items are now placed in the reverse order. Item one is placed to the right. The third value allowed is column. When you set flex direction to column, the main axis flows from top to bottom. So the items are now stacked on top of each other. So go back to the browser and refresh and you can see that item one is at the top, item nine is at the bottom. The items are stacked up and flow from top to bottom. And finally, we also have column reverse which stacks the items in the reverse order. So set the property to column reverse. And if I refresh, you can see that item nine is at the top and item one is at the bottom. The items flow from bottom to top. So the flex direction sets the direction of the main axis, thereby controlling how the items are placed in a container. Possible values are row, which sets the main axis from left to right, row reverse for right to left, column for top to bottom, and column reverse for bottom to top.